Welcome back. We are starting the process for 4NF1 fractions. We are on unit three. Number one is coming up. Only need to do 25 of these. Remember, by the end of the year, there'll be almost 200 math tutorial videos for fourth grade Common Core. Use them all to help you ace your class. All right, let's go. 4NF1 fractions. Keyword explain why a fraction, A divided by B, A over B, is equivalent. You're going to see that word a lot, equivalent, to another fraction using fraction models. So this is assessment number three for 2019-2020. And this is problem number one. Let's set it up. At least we're doing something different, and I love fractions, sometimes. Okay, we have all of our highlighting utensils. We're gonna tear this thing up. Since this is our first one, we will introduce um, some academic vocabulary. We will not do that in all the recordings. Why? Because then they're all 25 minutes long. Let's get the party started. Here we go. Number one. Figure A, no, so this says figure A, figure A, this is figure A, this is figure A, all of it though, has of four tenths of its whole shaded, keywords, shaded, this is shaded, now I'm not doing it to the exact perimeter, okay? But when you see the word shaded, these are the shaded pieces. Notice how there is one, two, three, four. Four pieces. Shaded, okay? Select another fraction equal to 4 over 10. Okay, let's tear this up. First off, watch this. Let's just count all these pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know it's kind of hard to see those, but that's 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, let's have this fraction connect to the real world. Let's say someone in your family loves baking and they baked this amazing rectangular cake. And they took this entire cake and cut it into 10 pieces. So I'm gonna write like this. 10 total pieces. It is still one entire cake, but let's say you have 10 people and they all want the same equal slice. Well, you cut it 10 times. This is also known as the bottom number, which is the denominator. Okay, 10 to the bottom number. The top number. Let's say out of all 10 of these pieces, four pieces were taken out. Or maybe those four pieces had something special on them. Maybe it was pink sugar toppings. Whatever the case, four is on the top, and we call the top number the numerator. Okay? So let's review. This entire model has 10 total pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The problem states four tenths of its whole is shaded. Here's the shaded parts. There's the four. The four is known as the numerator. The ten is known as the denominator. Okay, so whenever we are doing fractions in the future, and I say, you know what, guys, the numerator is four or three or two or whatever, you know that it is the top number. The denominator is the 
bottom number. Okay. Another word to see for equal is also known as equivalent. Now let's attack this problem. We need to find out if four tenths is equal. So when we see the word equal, there's an equal sign. I know these are kind of small and I'll write them bigger over there again, but is four over 20 equal to four tenths? Is four over five equal to four over 10? Is eight divided by 10 equal to four divided by 10? Is eight over 20 equal to four over 10? Let's find out. I'm gonna take this number and move it way over here so we can write it bigger. Okay, anytime you're taking a test, if it seems small, why not just write it bigger? Now here's hopefully the easiest way to remember whether fractions are equivalent or equal. Are these two numbers the same? No. Are these two numbers the same? Yes. Are they equal? No, because these are the same, but these are not. Okay, so this one doesn't work. Wrong. Let's look at this one. Four over five is equal to four over 10. Okay, are these two the same? Yes. Are these two the same? No, so these are not equal. But a step further now, how do I get from five to 10? I take it times two. Five times two is 10. But when you are doing equivalent or equal fractions, whatever you multiply for the denominator, you also need to multiply for the numerator. So I know four times two is not four. Four times two is eight. So this one doesn't work. Let's go to the next one. Eight over 10. Is that equal to four over 10? Okay, these two are equal to each other. 10 times one is 10. Eight times one is not four. In fact, I know, I know my division facts, eight divided by two equals four. Whatever I do to the top number, the numerator, I need to do to the bottom number or the denominator. 10 divided by two is not 10, that would be five. So this one doesn't work, okay? Let's go to the last one. I'll write it nice and big so you can see it. A over 20 is equal to four divided by 10. All right, well, both of these are not equal. 20 is not equal to 10, eight is not equal to four. However, I know that I can divide by two and that gets me 10. Why? Because 10 times 2 equals 20. Okay? Division. 8 divided by 2. See how this number is exactly the same? For equal fractions, whatever you do on the bottom, you need to do on the top. And they need to be the same. 8 divided by 2 is 4. I know that 4 times 2 is 8. Sorry about the lighting. It's late. So the lighting is off. All right, this one works. Now, what does this look like in the model? So visually, what would this look like? If you're having trouble seeing this answer and you, you're still having trouble seeing that whatever I do at the top, I need to do the bottom and then they're equal, okay? We, that did not work for any of the other problems. It worked for this one. This is equal. Watch this. All you do is stand up. I'm just kidding. Let's say 20 people came to this party and they all want this cake, this model of cake, what would the chef do? They would cut equal pieces like this. And now I'm gonna take my beautiful Expo marker and show you what eight out of 20 looks like. We already know what four out of, four divided by 10 look like, that was there. Here's how you get eight out of 20. Now I'm taking my time on this. Of course I have some students who could figure this out in 20 seconds, all right? But if this is your first time ever seeing this, let's take our time 
and do it slow. Can you attack this other ways? Of course. This is just one example and we're at 10 minutes. So check this out. Eight pieces should be shaded, right? That was our top number. We had four to start with, now we have eight. All I did was cut all these in half, equal parts. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, it works. There used to be four, now there's eight. Are there 20 total pieces? Oh gosh, this is gonna take forever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and there's 10, 20 total pieces. So four divided by 10 is exactly the same as eight divided by 20. If you have 10 people and they will all wanna get the same slices, there you go. But now if you go to 20 and you have eight shaded, that's what it looks like. Notice the shaded space did not change. It was exactly the same. All right, I hope that helps. That's up right about 11 minutes. And if you look at this problem at the very end, notice how the shaded area never changed. We just made it smaller pieces. Look at that. Okay, I hope that helps. That's the beginning of fractions. We love fractions. There will be uh, 24 more of these videos. Take those amazing notes. Do all that highlighting. And remember, all the numbers should be in yellow. But I'll let you do that on your own. See ya.